Kia ora, um, my name is Paura Te Hurihanganui. Uh, currently, I am the CEO of an organisation called Te Papatakoro Aotearoa, the oldest Māori sports and health trust in the country, in New Zealand. I've uh, been a CE here for 12 years. Uh, grew up, born and bred in Aotearoa. Married to Sandra Mir, six kids and one dog. And currently, uh, some of my interest areas are the revitalisation of uh, ancestral pathways as a means to health and well-being. Uh, Te Papatakoro Aotearoa uh, aligns to a lot of the work, a lot of the interest areas that I have. Um, we, we currently we're doing a lot of work in social service, whanauora, aspirational planning, uh, and then we have our normal day-to-day -day business as usual, traditional revival or traditional Māori games, uh, sports, getting people fit and active. I think if we consider the international movement in terms of the indigenization of information and people wanting to return to identity and identity forming one of those key markers of health and well-being, I think that area there uh, and exploring that area there has so many components to it and the revival of traditional activity is one of those. Um, if we have a look in academia, we are theorizing the indigenous space currently and how we view that and how we interact with that. But on the ground level, we've got to look at what practical means do we instill within those that are trying to find their identity, trying to find their place in the world. But not only that, find an alignment to the natural environment, then we we find and we come in contact with games and those other means that we celebrate the natural environment because for all indigenous people and especially for Māori, our origins begin and end in the natural environment. What we, what we seem to forget when we get individualised and we get into our current and modern minds is that our whole health and well-being is driven by the natural environment. And our ancestors was, you, would use the natural environment as a metaphor to drive and shape change. We still do that today. Uh, I think we sometimes we get into a flow, a natural flow, uh, an unnatural flow outside of nature, and that's when things are unbalanced, things don't go right for us. You get sickness, you get a whole range of other things going on. And so uh, my interest area and the interest area of, of our work is how do we pull individuals and groups, Fano, hapu, iwi, and even nations into a space where they can balance themselves and flow naturally, I suppose, with the course of of their journeys of life. And for us, our answers start and end in the natural environment. So as an organisation and as an individual leading this organisation, it's my responsibility to give uh, as much opportunity for those people that walk through our door to experience the natural environment, but to make sense of the natural environment and how that shapes and balances our, our lives. 